The I-Team exposing tonight a major mix-up by the city of Jacksonville. The city sold a Tampa woman a used JFRD fire truck through a government auction website for more than $10,000. But the city ended up turning over the wrong truck. She contacted the I-Team when she says the city refused to right the wrong. So where's the truck now that she actually paid for? Well, that's where things get interesting. Right, Tarek? Well, it certainly did get interesting then. You know, when you buy something, you really expect to get what you paid for. But that surely was not the case for Maddie Herndon of Tampa. She purchased this 2004 JFRD fire truck from the city at an auction. But when it was delivered to her, the VIN numbers didn't match the title she was given. She was actually given this truck over here. So we wanted to know why the city won't simply give her what she rightfully owns. And we found out. She's got all the proper documentation. And if you look on the auction page here, all has, the paperwork um, and even the title to the 2004 fire truck, number 8746. But this is the O2 truck, and on the back of it is 8649. Maddie Herndon won the government auction on GovDeals.com last September, a site she's purchased used city equipment from before. There's still a market out there for them, you know? She so. resells fire trucks, which is why she was looking forward to flipping a 2004 model similar to this one for a profit. Yeah, I got a fire truck. <laughs> I was excited. I thought I had my 2004 truck. And uh, then when I really realized I didn't have that 2004 truck and tried to get the issue solved, it was became a, a restless night, um, a headache. Approximately 10 days after Herndon paid a transporter to drive the truck from Jacksonville to Tampa, she realized the VIN number didn't match. When she contacted the city, she says they told her the truck was no longer available, but instead on the road somewhere in Jacksonville. Um, she basically just told me that we we're really, really sorry. We really, really messed up and that um, that she basically didn't, that I was not going to get my truck back. They put my truck back into service or something. No one communicated with each other up there. I sure would like to find my truck. I would like to have my truck back, the truck I paid for, the truck I have the title for. We set out to find our fire truck ourselves, turning up nothing at the Jacksonville Procurement Office, which oversees items up for auction. But just around the corner, we hit the jackpot. We found Mrs. Herndon's 2004 ladder truck, the one she has the title to, here in the parking lot of Jacksonville's Fleet Services. We noticed what appears to be a large leak coming from the rear of truck 8746, and all the compartments on the truck were left open, revealing parts of the truck may have been removed. Herndon says the city offered her a little more than $1,500 for their major mistake. That's the difference they calculated in value between the 2002 she received and the 2004 she paid for. But it's a deal that she has no intention of taking. She wants what she bought. We contacted Jacksonville City Hall for an interview, but a spokesperson instead issued this statement, which reads in part, this one incident is unfortunate and we regret it. Upon learning of Mrs. Herndon's discovery last fall, the city of Jacksonville investigated and confirmed that an error was made in the sale and transfer of a ladder truck vehicle and has since strengthened our release processes. When picked up by Mrs. Herndon's transporter, vehicle identification numbers were not verified, leading to the removal of an incorrect vehicle. Since that time, the 2004 truck originally listed and purchased on GovDeals has been surplused with parts removed for repairs and replacements. While Ms. Herndon has expressed to us her continued interest in the 2004 truck, it is not available in its original condition. City spokesperson Marsha Oliver goes on to say the city is maintaining their original offer of $1,525 refund for the difference. Oliver says repeated attempts to contact Herndon have been unsuccessful. We all thought this was the 2004 truck. Herndon claims the city is trying to bully her into taking the money, and she's willing to take her fire truck fight to court. An attorney not associated with this case says this is a fight she could win. We're in an eBay-type world, and this is, this is a, a government property version of eBay, and when you buy something, you expect to get it and not for the terms to change along the way. The city of Jacksonville owes her the truck as it was the day that she bought it. The fact that they did damage to her truck, they owe her to fix that damage in full. Mrs. Herndon says that she had a buyer for that specific 2004 fire truck, but since she doesn't have the truck, that deal fell through. So she's personally out of that money 
In addition, she had to pay out of her own pocket to have that truck bought from Tampa and then detailed and then all before realizing she was given the wrong vehicle. So she wants all the money that she spent on the fire truck back. And Lindsay, she also tells me that the city of Jacksonville has asked her multiple times, can they have the title back to that fire truck? But she says that the city doesn't make what she considers to be a reasonable offer. There is no way that they're going to get that title back. And now she says she is considering legal action.